Hello friends, welcome back. Today in this video, we will discuss in detail about new changes and features which are introduced in GSTR 3B. GSTR 3B has made more simple with its advanced feature. So now you don't have to spend all your time for submitting the form and for setting up your liability. The payment and filing option are more user friendly. So let us know about it in detail. So let's begin. So login in your BST account, then click on return dashboard, select the month and click on search. Then you will have to click on your monthly return GSTR 3P that is prepare online. You will see a message like this. So these are the changes which are made in GSTR 3P return. You can read those changes. So now I will click on OK. So you will get a screen like this. So if you have nil return, then click on yes. If you have made any purchases or sale, then click on no. So read those and those instructions and select the option accordingly. After selecting those options, click on next. Now we will fill detail in the field that is 3.1 text on output and reverse charging. So click on it. Now enter the value in the respective column. So let us put some amount in this column. Here you can see if I enter the amount in a central text column, then the same amount will be automatically get filled in state text column. So now click on confirm button to save it. Now we will enter data in eligible ITC column. So click on it. Now under all other ITC, we will put down amount as 300 in central text so that state tax will be auto filled. So click on confirm button once you enter it. Now you will be redirected to main page. Now, now you have seen that we have filled uh, the tax amount in outward supply and eligible ITC field and this tax will be automatically filled in the payment of tax tab. Earlier, we had to fill all the details even in payment of tax was used to fill by us. So this will be automatically filled. So now click on save GSTR 3B button. You can click on the preview draft GSTR 3B in order to download it. As soon as you click on it, a PDF file will be downloaded. This will be a preview of your entire detail in GSTR 3B. Now click on proceed to payment. So you will get a screen like this. Here you can see your cash ledger as well as credit ledger panel along with interest and all other details. Now scroll down here you can see all the data is auto filled. If you have any ITC then it will be utilized to pay tax. Suppose if output GST is more than high GST available, then all detail will be auto filled that is tax payable along with ITC to be set off and balance will be shown as payable. So in this column, you will see balance payable. So you have to pay the balance amount by clicking on create challenge and pay it through the option available. So after making payment, click on this make payment or post credit to ledger option so that you will get a message that offset successfully then you can proceed to filing of your return even if you don't want to utilize your itc to pay your tax then you can create a challenge and pay it through it so when you make a payment it will come in your electronic cash ledger then system will activate its option that proceed to file the option will activate and with that one click you can file your return with evc or dsc you can also track the status of your file return remember friend you need to click on make payment uh, that is post credit to ledger in order to proceed to filing 
so these are the updates which are made in str3 return please like this video subscribe my channel because it's free have a great day thank you for watching